Second law we're talking about is Charles law. Charles law states that the volume of a given mass of gas is directly proportional to the temperature. The volume of a gas is directly proportional to the temperature in Kelvin. And then, if I introduce it to the constant, I'll have V to be equal to KT. So it means my constant is V over T. So I divide this by T, divide this by T, divide this by T, T will cancel T. So my constant is V over T. So for two scenario, I'm going to have V1 over T1 equal to what? V2 over T2. Don't forget, it said chart must say that the volume of a given mass of gas is directly proportional to the temperature in Kelvin, provided that the pressure remains constant. What was Dr. Charles trying to communicate with us? He's trying to tell us that anytime you increase the temperature of a gas, the volume of that gas will increase. If you keep on increasing the temperature of the gas, the volume of the gas will increase. As long as you maintain it at a normal pressure, you keep on increasing, the volume of the gas will, will increase. It means gas expands when you increase the uh, temperature. So if we try to reduce the temperature of the gas, what will happen to that gas? The volume will begin to decrease. We decrease the temperature, the volume will begin to decrease. I will follow it. So this is what that pressure was trying to tell us. So I will just quickly go talk about absolute temperature. Absolute zero temperature. In reality, when this experiment was performed by Dr. Stars, there is a beaker, a very large beaker that was provided. And then to this beaker, there is a metal rule put in this beaker, placed vertically to this beaker. And then we have a capillary tube that is placed on top of this metal rule and then bind with a rubber, with a rubber band. And then we have this place sealed. And once it is sealed, we have um, this is sealed again, and then there is a gas that is in between this place. A gas that is in this place, and then before it is sealed, we have H2SO4 here, or something like a drying agent. So we have a drying agent here in this kind of to something like a drying agent to make sure that the gas I'm going to pass into this place is dry, there's no wet. You have a drying agent, and then after the drying agent it is sealed. Then you can have a gas inside these two, and then you can seal it again, and then we place everything attached to the rubber band, and then with your rubber band to a ruler, and then place everything inside the beaker containing water. Containing water. So the aim of this experiment is that if I put this whole system, if I try to reduce the temperature, how can I reduce the temperature? Maybe I'm trying to put ice block inside this system. You know the temperature will be reduced and it will definitely affect the gas in this place. If I'm reducing the temperature, what will happen to the volume of the gas here? The volume of the gas will begin to decrease. If I'm adding more substance to reduce the temperature, the volume of the gas will begin to decrease. Even if I put the whole system inside the refrigerator, the volume of the gas will begin to decrease. Now, it is reasonable for us to think that at a certain time, we will reduce the temperature and this gas will begin to reduce, 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 reduce. So it is proving that if you reduce the temperature to a temperature of minus 273 degrees Celsius, there will be no gas inside this capillary tube be there. At this point, the gas here vanish from this capillary tube. And this is what is referred to as the absolute zero temperature. The absolute zero temperature just means the temperature at which the volume of the gas here becomes zero. And that temperature is what? Minus 273 degree, minus 273 degrees Celsius. That is the absolute zero temperature. But in reality, if a gas is placed inside the capillary tube and then you try to reduce the temperature, you try to reduce the temperature. Once you reduce the temperature to a certain point, what happens is the gas becomes a liquid, the gas liquefied. So if this oxygen we are used here at minus 183 degrees Celsius, even before it reaches minus 273 degrees Celsius, we discover that the gas becomes liquid. And if we change again, I will change to another gas, maybe we use nitrogen. At minus 196 degrees Celsius, we discover that it becomes liquid. And even if you tell you use oxygen, at minus 2 hydrogen, at minus 253 degrees Celsius, the gas becomes liquid. So it means, theoretically, if we place any gas here, I will try to reduce the temperature. Before the temperature approach minus 273 degrees Celsius, what happens is that the gas becomes liquefied and then it turns to what? They turn to liquid, but in in that's practically that's practically it turns to liquid.
But if there is any gas that refuses to turn to liquid before minus 270 degrees Celsius, the gas disappear from this capillary tube. So that's what is called absolute zero temperature. Absolute zero temperature happens to be the temperature of the gas, the temperature when the gas, the volume of the gas is zero centimeter cube. So when there's no gas here, what is the temperature? That is minus 273 degrees Celsius. And it is always said that once you increase the temperature of a gas, once you increase the temperature of that gas, the volume of the gas will increase by 1 over 273. If you take for instance, the initial temperature of the gas is, uh, uh, let's say, 2 degrees Celsius. And then I want to increase the temperature of something like R, let's say 3 degrees Celsius. For every degree rise in temperature, the volume of the gas will be like 1 over 273. 1 over 273. So, in essence, we are trying to say what the apprentice was telling us that the volume of the gas is like to be the temperature. Once you increase the temperature of the gas, the volume will be increased. But if you change it and if you increase the temperature of the gas, the volume of the gas will work in the place and then we have the complicate in our constant D over T and we have V1 over T1 equal to V2 over T2 I will talk about the experimental aspect when it is really done in practically that if you put this whole system I will try to reduce the temperature of the gas here once we reduce the temperature the volume of the gas we begin to reduce we begin to reduce we begin to reduce but if we reduce the temperature of the system to the point to reach minus 73 degrees Celsius there will be no gas inside this thing. The water that means the gas is happening. And I said that is our, uh, that is the theoretical aspect of this particle. But in reality, practically, most gas, most new gases, most new gases, they turn to liquid before it has to work. Minus 273, minus 273 degrees Celsius. We don't have any gas, like an IV gas, that like does not conform to this. When they reach minus 273, volume of zero centimeter. So let's take 